In the 14th century, Rome was at the very height of the Italian Renaissance. Paintings, architecture, sculpture, music, literature. During a time when men of immense talent such as Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo immortalized wealthy families in biblical paintings. It's magnificent, Maestro. Oh. But imagine if it were a painting, a real painting, all filled with that magic light and shadow you bring. I wanted a sketch of Your Excellency first. I may do it in oil if it pleases you. Does that mean you have to take it with you? Oh, no. It's yours to keep for your kindness to me. My painting of you will be done using the true image I carry of you in here. I shall look forward to seeing it someday. And you will paint it for me. You promise that. You will promise. Would that you could stay with me. One family would come to dominate that cultural life of this era. Yet strangely, this very same family would commission some of the world's greatest artwork was also one of the most corrupt. The Borgia Crime Family The Borgia family was a major influence on European history, religion and politics but no one gained as much notoriety as Pope Alexander and his son Cesare Borgia. The history of their lives is still relevant today and their sensational careers have both inspired and impacted popular culture. Authors like Machiavelli, Alexander Dumas, John Bond, and Mario Puzo wrote books on their lives, including novels, films, television series. And video games. If I want to live, I if I want to take, I take. If I want you to die, you die! The Borgias were an Italian family with Spanish origin. They were brilliant but evil, ruthless and treacherous. Unlike Mad Caligula, who killed for insane pleasure, or Nero and his predecessors who killed for political gain. The Borgias killed not only for pleasure and political gain, but for personal wealth. They were indeed the first crime family, a family unique in the annals of crime. They were not bound together by blood rituals, but by genes. No flame to keep me warm. I learned to keep myself warm. Sancho, already you have washed the ashes of humility from your forehead. 